project such as this has the potential to get very, very complicated and convoluted very quickly. London Bridge, it's, it's quite an interesting uh, contractual arrangement. Network Rail have, for the delivery of London Bridge, a partnering agreement with the contractor, whose name is Costain. Who then employ Hyder WSP, who are structural and mechanical engineers. So it's a joint venture between Hyder and WSP. Hyder WSP then employ us. So Grimshaw, in terms of the food chain, quite far down in the pecking order. We're employees, but we're in charge of the design. London Bridge itself has always been a kind of down at heel, fairly difficult station for people to navigate. And what we're doing is we're effectively carving through the historic Victorian arches to create a new concourse underneath the tracks. It is going to be the largest concourse in the UK and one of the largest in Europe. The roofscape is generated from the desire to bring natural daylight into this street level concourse. So the, the roof has a series of slivers that um, twist to bring natural daylight down into that space. Engineers go everything in straight line, vertical and horizontal, and, uh, and the architects uh, ruin all that by putting in lots of curves. <laughs> no, we're, we're putting it, holding it all together but they're designing it, they're, they're making it look the way it should look at the end. It would be very easy for us as a design team to deliver the station in one huge package and very easy for the contractor to build everything in one go. But of course London would come to a grinding halt because of the um, passenger movements that exist in London Bridge Station. We always make the analogy it's like open heart surgery because the station's got to be working all the time. It's kind of shuffling around, it's like one of those puzzles with one piece missing. So we're taking small bite-sized chunks, moving our way across. The old station still exists to the north. It's a construction site in the middle, a new station that has been finished and opened with the public using it to the south. To make the whole thing work and keeping the station live at the same time is incredibly complicated. We had to develop something that would work in a way that could be brought in at night and could be constructed in stages. Um, Off-site was the only way to do it. And so it, it's a modular construction. Very early on in the process, at the conceptual level, we embraced the idea of prefabricating so that we could build those platforms and canopies as quickly as possible to reduce the pressure on the construction program. When dealing with a complex project such as London Bridge Station, I think the, the only way you can keep a handle on the job is to keep your conceptual ideas as pure and as clean and as simple as possible so that the team can move forward with a singular coherent vision for what we're trying to achieve.